Today we are upcycling and recycling items that I rarely use into some high-end pieces of decor that I will be able to use all year long. My inspiration came from the Front Gate website. They had this set of vases. They're gorgeous, but they are way too expensive. Look at those prices. I think we can do better. I have a pair of amber orange colored vases that just I didn't use very often. The only time I really got them out was during the fall or Thanksgiving. The size and the shape of these vases is perfect, but I needed to change the color. If you are a beginner DIYer, this is a perfect place to start. This is one of the easiest projects that I've ever done. We're gonna start off by washing the vases and letting them dry completely. And then I'm gonna take them outside. I flipped them upside down and I got some white Rust-Oleum spray paint. I began to spray the vases. I did a good solid coat of paint around all the sides, the top, and then I let them dry for about an hour. And I did a second coat of paint. I wanted it to be completely covered in the white paint once the second coat was finished. And then I let it dry overnight. Already the paint has taken this vase from, you know, okay, to gorgeous. Just a little bit of paint, it's amazing the transformation that it can make. Now the gold detail of these cherry blossoms on my inspiration vase was real gold. I don't need real gold. So I just got on my Cricut Design Space, I created this cherry blossom design. And if you don't have a Cricut. I have several other options for you. Number one, you can free paint this design on just with a paintbrush and some gold craft paint. My skills at freehanding are not very good and I knew if I did that it would not look very professional. If you can do that, do it. The second option is I have created a free printable for you guys. Now you can take this printable, you can print it off at home, cut it out, get some Mod Podge and put it on your vase or your container. Another thing that you can do is you can get some shipping labels. They come in big sheets. You can print them off on the sticky shipping labels, then cut them out and then adhere those stickers to the vase. So there's a couple of options if you don't have a vinyl cutter. My video today is part of a collaboration with several other very talented ladies here on YouTube. They're going to be showing you how they're going to decorate for spring. I will leave a link in my description box to the playlist, so make sure you check them out. Inside my vases, I placed some dogwoods. They are from the Dollar Tree. I also have some other beautiful pink and white florals. I'm bringing in that pink filling because a pastel pink is just perfect for spring. And that's what we're going for in this design is kind of a, a subtle spring design. If you're looking to decorate with neutrals for the changing seasons, using pieces like this is perfect because it doesn't scream spring or summer or fall. What it does is it gives you a neutral backdrop so that you can add different florals maybe a topiary, something inside that can be themed in those seasonal colors. But because this vase is a classic shape and it's in a neutral color, it will be able to blend in with any season or style. Okay, let's quick look back at our original pieces. They were so expensive, but by taking items that I already had, I simply transferred that idea onto something that I could afford. I had these vases, I had the spray paint, I had the vinyl. So for me in this project, this transformation cost me zero dollars. You could get a vase at a thrift store, you could go through your closet, spray paint it white, add the, either a detail like this or one that you love, and you would have a beautiful high-end piece that you could use all year long. I found these cute little bird houses at the Dollar Tree. So I scooped up a couple of them and we're gonna take it from this and we're gonna transform it into this. To begin, we're going to use 
some pinks because that's the biggest thing for your buck as far as transformation goes. I'm gonna be using that same white Rust-Oleum spray paint. I took my birdhouse outside and I sprayed it in the spray paint. I sprayed evenly around the entire house and then I let it dry for 30 minutes. Then I did a second coat. I made sure the entire birdhouse was completely covered in the paint and then I let it dry for two hours. Now I wanted to have some gold accent and I thought, you know what? I have these gold tacks that I bought at the Dollar Tree and that will be a beautiful accent. So I just took these tacks and I pressed it gently right into the wood on the roof line. I added a line down one side and then I repeated the process on the other side of the roof line. The shiny gold tacks are a beautiful accent on this birdhouse and it carries in the gold and white theme from my vases down to my birdhouse. To coordinate my birdhouse even further with my vases, I decided to add one little cherry blossom that wrapped around the side and the front. Now again, I'm going to have this free printable and you could use this one right here to wrap around a birdhouse. I did a couple different sizes so you had a variety to choose from. Again, just print it out, cut it out, Mod Podge it or use those shipping labels and it will be able to stick on there just as well as any kind of vinyl will. I placed my birdhouse in the center of a white urn on top of a little mini cupcake stand and I also added in some raffia and a gold garland. If you don't have a nest and you can't find one or you just don't want to spend the money, let me show you how to make one really quick with some Dollar Tree raffia. All you need to do is just take it, wrap it in a circle like this. You can either tie the end together, you can zip tie it, you could get a little ribbon, but you can make nests just like this. And you have a pretty little nest. You can make different sizes or shapes. So this is what I did. And I put one of the nests around my candle. My candle is sitting in a cut glass bowl. And then I also put another one just on the side and placed a couple of eggs in it. It's a great detail that's cheap, easy, and I really like it. I also added in some pink and white speckled eggs. I got these at Target last year and I love the way that it ties in the white and the little bit of pastel pink from the flowers into the bottom of the design. Every single item that we made today was super easy. The vases, a little bit of paint and a decal. The birdhouse, a little bit of paint, some thumbtacks, again, another decal and look at how beautiful this display is. This could be a perfect way to decorate for spring, especially if you don't wanna go all in for spring. This is a subtle hint. This is also great if you want to transition from winter to spring and you don't wanna go all the way into spring quite yet. If you wanna use these vases all year long, you can do that too. That's what I love about neutral decor is that they're what I call evergreen pieces. They're going to be perfect all year long. And all you need to do is switch the contents out to theme them into that different season. I hope this video got you excited to start transitioning your decor from winter to spring. Also, if you see something that you love online or in a store, think about how you can recreate it for less. There are always ways to get something that you love for a more affordable price. Just have to be creative. And finally, a fun fact that's going on at the Birmingham house is that we are demoing my kitchen right now. We're gonna be doing a renovation and I am so excited to share all of that with you. So make sure that you come back next Thursday. I'm gonna show you some before, some during the reno and where we are right now. I'm also going to be showing you the design elements that I'm going to be using. I've already got a lot of things purchased. I actually had my pendant lights come in today. I am just so excited to share these things. If you can't wait until next Thursday, head on over to Instagram. I've already posted a lot of things on my stories under kitchen demo so you can get a sneak peek. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed decorating with me today. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for watching.